The fact that Blake doesn't find it necessary to stay along with her parents and try to continue fighting with grabbing hold of the white fang, like she doesn't think that, oh my god, this is going to be such a huge problem. I should stay with my parents. Like, parents, like, did they tell Blake about the end of the world? And then what did she tell her parents? Did she tell them too? I find it hard to believe they wouldn't also be following them. Them? And did they tell her, like, hmm. Did she, was she like, well, mom, thanks for helping me catch the, take over a terrorist organization. Thanks, dad. Now, you guys enjoy going back to leading it, despite the fact that 100% of every me current member of the white bank will absolutely disagree with letting you even near the seat of power. I'm gonna go hang out with my friends, okay? I'm, I'm, what? So, I can't. So, so, Blake is actually. Unlike Maria, who has no reason to be there, Blake has reason to be elsewhere. Like, the Vonos subplot is so unimportant that the character who is supposed to be in charge of it isn't even really involved in it. And the problem is, I thought about I bit is as I was practicing for this rant, because I need to practice, I've made like four separate proto videos of this video and I might even make more, but I'm liking the way this is turning out. As I was going, in three seconds, I came up with a solution. Salem created the Vonos. Think about it. If Salem created the Furnace and I don't know was like planning on destroying humanity and repopulating it entirely with Furnace, it would explain why Adam was so adamant of working with her, even though Furnace are dying for a plan that there's no way he knows about. Uh, because like, there's no way he knows that those guys work for like a grim woman, right? I like because I like to think that at least the villains don't tell random people about the about about their plan about everything that's going on in the world well i can't expect the heroes to not do that uh, but for the villains it would actually be like disadvantageous if salem created the phonos it would it would organic it would like it would explain where phonos came from and it would organically like explain why blake should stick with the main group group instead of continuing what she is doing already which is trying to take control of the white fang you could say that the white fang is still working planning on working for salem because their members now know know that their true creator wants to help them get rid of the humanity who's been holding them down sure you could add sure like you could say but if she, but why did she not care about them up until this point to which i say do you want this plot or not mm. no not like it fixes Blake. It, it it propels her from negative one on the reason to be here scale to above basically everyone who isn't Ospin, Oscar, and Crow. Hell, even to maybe even above Crow. Well, you cannot tell me this is not a good idea. Yeah. Plus, you could say that by creating this this the fauna, Salem has or has found a way to create constant problems among humanity as they continue to like abuse the funnels i think the first time we see them they are in cages and now they are just second they are just like they are the black people of remnants like over thousands of years their their situation hasn't been improved and then you could have it that blake reveals that no salem has secretly been making sure the funnels life is hell to continue um creating problems I could now have it that the White Fang can be working together with the Grim, which I'm confident the writers will also find a way to make unthreatening, but... And I know that there's no way they could have really inserted that conversation into Volume 6 without... Actually, no, I'm convinced that would seriously improve Volume 6. X. But you know, that's not what happened. Instead, Blake just doesn't find the White Fang important enough to continue maintaining control of Adam. I find it hard to believe Adam, if he didn't, if he tried, wouldn't be able to continue maintaining a hold on them. He just needs to point out, these guys have tried. These guys have failed. Okay, you're right. I failed once. Trying to bomb, bomb Haven while all the funnels were in it. Stupid idea. Like, my God, I am kind of unredeemable. But it's basically between me, who has been bringing in results, 
and Gera, whose own daughter after she betrayed us still says that we were bringing in better results than before. <laughs>